assalamu alaikum student i am starting uh, as level physics first topic is of, our first topic is the newton mechanics kinetics this topic we will start in today class mechanics okay my virtual board is uploading when it will upload i will start mechanics basically uh, mechanics chapter is present in uh, as level syllabus okay a level student study the other chapters but uh, this chapter mechanics chapter present in kinematics and mechanics present in as level physics Uh, there is the definition the study of the physics begins with mechanics mechanics is the branch physics that focus on the motion of the object and the forces that cause the motion to change okay when we study the motion with forces both study motion and forces both are involved in mechanics okay when we study motion with force now this is this is called the mechanics okay student mechanics mechanics basically a branch of physics in which we study force plus motion of object okay when force is apply on object an object moves how many types of forces apply on the object when we discuss totally force and motion of the object motion and force forces present object now this branch is known as the mechanics branch if we discuss both uh, parallelly now mechanics having the two parts kinematics and dynamics mechanics branch having the two parts kinematics kinematics deal with the concept that are needed to describe motion without any reference of force and dynamic deals with the effect that forces have on motion mechanics the branch that focus on the motion of object and the forces that cause the motion okay no mechanics also divided into two branch mechanics is divided into two branch now this is this is mechanics when we study the motion and force now this is mechanics now this mechanics branch is divided into two part number one uh, kinematics and secondly dynamic we will study these two in as level mathematics but firstly we start kinematic kinematic is only that branch which is which is describe only the motion of object definition related to motion and dynamic is that branch in which we study the motion and forces both okay mechanics involve both and dynamic is that part uh, of uh, physics in which we study the effect of force have on motion and kinematic we are starting now kinematic is the that science of describing the motion of object using words diagram graph and equation all these things involve word definition diagrams graph equation uh, related to motion now this branch is known as the kinematics now we uh describing the motion what is the motion when object changing its position with respect to its surrounding it's mean object is moving okay for example when a moving uh, object is moving it's mean object going faster is stopped slowing down speeding up turning provide sufficient vehicle with so these these all things are belong to the motion when object is moving object uh, Uh, moving fast object stop object slowing down speeding up these all terms related to 
the moving object but basic terms are of the kinematics are distance and displacement speed and velocity and acceleration these are the kinematic term distance and displacement speed and velocity acceleration the word which are used to describe the motion of object can be divided into two category uh, vector and scalar okay when we study any quantity moving quantity now uh, we dis, uh, we distinguish this quantity uh, just like as a it is a vector quantity or a scalar vector quantity uh, consisting direction magnitude and scalar only consisting magnitude when we describe any quantity with magnitude and direction it is vector when we describing any of uh, quantity with uh, only magnitude it is the scalar quantity okay so firstly we study about the scalar and vector what are the scalar and what are the vectors vectors are those quantity having magnitude and direction magnitude plus direction now these are the vector quantity just like uh, displacement displacement is vector we say 30 km in each direction okay we describe any quantity just like that with magnitude and direction it is a vector quantity and we describe a quantity just like a distance 30 km only we are using the magnitude this is the magnitude magnitude consisting number and unit okay number and unit describe the magnitude uh, and when we describe any quantity with the help of magnitude it is scalar and we describe any quantity with the help of magnitude and direction now we can say this is a vector quantity now i am coming towards the next topic the difference between distance and displacement distance refer to the total length travel irrespective of the direction okay when we uh, discuss about the distance there is no need of direction only we saying length about the length uh, in meter in kilometer length is covered but in displacement distance move in a particular direction when we talk about the displacement it's mean distance length covered and direction is also both involved therefore we say distance is a scalar quantity because we are only considering the length there is no consideration of direction and displacement we discuss the distance with direction it's mean it is a vector quantity vector quantity describe n uh, mag with magnitude and uh, direction units of both quantities are same Mag we need represent the magnitude uh, of both quantity as same and meter and kilometer okay now i am coming towards the distance dis with displacement you drive the car and your uh, over meter goes up you your distance now here i there is given a diagram this diagram telling you that about the displacement and distance okay now check this diagram i am drawing this diagram on my board and telling you how we describe in this diagram distance and displacement okay for example there is a position a and there is a position b an object moving a to b in same direction like straightly moving when object moving straightly there is no change in direction from object moving in one direction now this is known as the displacement because the in this moment with length covering when length change direction is wall direction is particular when direction is particular we say this is a displacement okay but we are moving just like this there is no particularity in direction we moving in north and south and moving in different direction now in this situation object covering distance in whole object covering distance because we are considering only length magnitude kilometer meter but we are not uh, particularly here the direction 
okay now i am coming toward the next example there is a square uh, or rectangle given in which object firstly moving uh, 4 meter east then 2 meter uh, south then 4 meter again west and 2 meter again uh, finally north and coming at same position when object coming at same position or uh, initial position object coming at same position or initial position so it's mean uh, there is no change in uh, displacement form basically the displacement is here zero because object uh, moving in different direction and finally form a zero displacement how we write this one as a zero displacement if 4 is positive and 2 is positive then this 4 is negative because the direction of this 4 Uh, opposite to this 4 meter direction and this 2 meter direction opposite to this 2 meter direction when two opposite directions are formed it's mean the total displacement or dis displacement is zero okay first four we write positive second four we write in negative first two we write in positive second two we write in negative because both are in opposite direction and both are in opposite direction one is represented by positive and one is represented by negative uh, there is four as positive because this four is negative because the direction of both are different when both are different one is plus one is minus we when we add we get the zero displacement when we consider the direction in this situation uh, in this uh, rectangle situation overall displacement is zero but when we count the distance in distance there is no particularity of direction we add all these distances there is no change in sign form because there is no particularity of direction all the distances are with same sign we change the sign with direction if direction opposite we change the sign if we add the all these we get uh, 448 and 412 meter now this 12 meter is the distance when we consider direction or particularity of direction it's mean this whole displacement is zero and when we are not considering the direction then we add because there is no negative sign form in this situation we add all the value and we get the total distance of 12 meter but in direction consideration this is the zero so this is the difference between the displacement and distance okay student we will further discuss in next class